Hello everyone, welcome to UPSC Digital Library. Welcome to the complete course on Ancient Indian History. Ancient Indian History ke complete course mein aap sabhi ka swagat hai. Today we will talk about the Mauryan Empire. Aaj hum hum apne chhatwe chapter Mauryan Empire ke baare mein baat karenge. Now if you guys look on the right side of the screen, you guys can see the vast empire which was made under the Mauryans. Agar aap is screen ke right side pe dekhe, to aapko ye Bharat ke nakshe mein ye bada samraj ye nazar aega jo Mauryans ke dwara established kiya gaya tha. So let us try to understand what was the reason why this happened. The first very important thing which we must understand is that the Mauryan Empire was formed after overthrowing the Nanda dynasty which we have already discussed in the last video. So if you have not watched the last video, please watch all the videos in the sequence. Agar aapne pichla video dekha hoga, to aapko malum hoga ki Nanda dynasty mein jo dhana Nanda the, वो अपने लोगों के हित में काम नहीं कर रहे थे धनानंदा द लास्ट रूलर ऑफ द नंदा डायनेस्टी वाज नॉट वर्किंग इन फेवर ऑफ द पीपल एंड एज अ रिजल्ट व्हाट हैपेंस इसके कारण क्या होता है दैट द मौर्यन पीपल दे ओवरटुक देम हाउ दे ओवरटुक नाउ देयर वाज अ पर्सन हुज नेम वाज चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य एक इंसान थे चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य जिन्होंने चाणक्य के साथ मिलकर इस राजा धनानंदा को अपने सिंहासन से गिरा दिया नाउ देयर वाज अ पर्सन चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य हु ओवर ओवरथ्रू द किंगडम ऑफ धनानंदा विद द हेल्प ऑफ चाणक्य हु वाज आल्सो हिज पॉलिटिकल गुरु now for the first time what happens during this time that the political unity is achieved now aap log ye soch rahe honge ki ye jo political unity ye jo ekta ki baat ho rahi hai bharat mein aisa kyon hua why this was done this was done because during the time of nanda dynasty nanda dynasty ke time pe alexander invasion bhi hua tha during that time alexander invasion also took place and the Mauryans realized, Mauryans ko ye samaj mein aa gaya tha, that they must achieve the political unity of the country if they have to prosper. Agar humko aage tarakki karni hai, humko humare samraj ko bachana hai, to humko political unity to karni hi padegi. And moreover, what happened was the the history writing has become very clear from this period and the chronology is very clear. Abhi tak kya ho raha tha? Chronology was not clear because the writings were vague and it was not very very clear. Okay, there were many assumptions what we were making. But from the Mauryan period, Mauryan period se jitna bhi itihas hawam aage padenge, it is very very clear. Alright, alright. Now there are numerous resources apart from our indigenous resources through which we have come to know about this period apart from the books that were written by the indian people and the foreign people hamare bharati aur videshi logon ke dwara jo kitab likhi gayi hai uske dwara there are a number of epigraphical records also available through which we know about the mauryan people kai epigraphical record bhi likhe gaye hain jiske karan se humko हमें मौर्यन साम्राज्य के इतिहास का पता चलता है सर कैन यू प्लीज एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज दिस एपिग्राफी यस आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस टू यू नाउ एपिग्राफी इज द स्टडी एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ एंशंट इंस्क्रिप्शन यानी कि पुराणिक इतिहास में इन द ओल्डन टाइम्स व्हेन वी स्टडी एंड इंटरप्रेट द इंस्क्रिप्शन एंशियंट इंस्क्रिप्शन इट इज नॉन एज एपीग्राफी all right still sir can you please tell us what is this inscription all about what is this inscription yes now when you in engrave something jab aap kisi stone ya metal mein when you try to cut and write something in a stone or a metal such kind of writing is known as inscription so will i say that book is a form of inscription no will i say that this image what you see is a form of inscription yes all right, I hope this difference is clear to all of you.
all right as i told you there are various resources through which we come to know about the mauryan empire one such literary sources is kautilya's arthashastra kautilya was also known by the name of chanakya all right he was the political guru of chandragupta maurya all right now this book was written by kautilya in sanskrit now he was also known as the indian machiavelli ab ye insaan kaun the he is known as the father of the modern indian philosophy he is known as the father of the indian modern philosophy all right apart from that हमारे मॉडर्न इतिहास के हमारे आज के इतिहास हमारा जो आज का समय चल रहा है उस समय में इनको पॉलिटिकली भी बहुत इंटेलिजेंट माना जाता है तो कौतिल्या की तुलना इनसे की जाती है सो दैट मीन्स यू कैन रियलाइज हाउ मच इंटेलिजेंट दिस गाय वुड हैव बीन वेरी सुन यू विल रियलाइज वेन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड दी पोलिटिकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन जब हम मॉरियन काल के समय का पोलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन समझेंगे तब आपको यह पता चलेगा कि कितनी बारीकी से इन्होंने काम किया था नाउ दी मेन्यू स्क्रिप्ट विच वे रिटर्न दैट मीन्स द बुक दिस अर्थ शास्त्र नाउ दिस वॉज डिस्कवर्ड बाई आर शर्मा शास्त्री इन दर नाइनटीन हंड्रेड एंड फोर नाउ दिस एंटायर मेन्यू स्क्रिप्ट हैज फिफ्टीन बुक्स एंड दिस फिफ्टीन बुक्स हैज टोटल वन एटी चैप्टर्स बट ओवरऑल अगर हमको ये पंद्रह किताबों में जो एक सौ अस्सी चैप्टर दिए हैं अगर इनको तीन मुख्य पार्ट्स में डिवाइड करना हो इफ आई हैव टू डिवाइड दिस इनटू थ्री पार्ट्स, आई विल से दैट द फर्स्ट पार्ट डील्स विद द किंग हिज काउंसिल ऑफ मिनिस्टर्स एंड द डिपार्टमेंट्स ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट द सेकंड पार्ट विल डील विद द सिविल एंड द क्रिमिनल लॉ दैट मीन्स रिलेटेड टू द लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एंड द जुडिशरी द थर्ड इज रिलेटेड टू द फॉरन पॉलिसी दैट इज डिप्लोमेसी एंड वॉर सो फर्स्ट इज रिलेटेड टू द the governance the second is related to the law and order and judiciary and the third is related to the foreign policy i hope ye baat sabko samajh mein aa rahi hai now for the mauryans to know about the mauryans this is the most important literary source kautilya's arthashastra let us continue apart from this now when we will move further when in future we will study about gupta period jab hum aage jaake gupta kal ke bare mein padhenge us samay ke ek lekhak the that time there was a writer vishakha datta now he had written a drama mudra rakshasa in that also it has been mentioned how chandragupta maurya with the assistance of kautilya was able to overthrow the nandas i hope this point is clear to all of you this also will help you to understand about the social economic conditions under the mauryan people i hope this is clear let's continue now megasthenes he was a greek ambassador in the court of chandragupta maurya that means he was a foreigner who was a greek ambassador working under the king of chandragupta maurya hamare is maurya kaal mein sabse pehle inke jo raja hain wo banenge chandragupta maurya उनके अंडर में बहुत सारे एम्बेसडर्स भी थे जो फॉरेन से आके वहां पर रुकते थे जिनको हम राजदूत बोलते हैं तो मैगेस्तनीस उसमें से एक थे ही रोट अ बुक इंडिका विच हैज ओनली सर्वाइव्ड इन फ्रेगमेंट्स वो कुछ उनके उस किताब के कुछ अवशेष बचे हैं दिस बुक हैज नॉट सर्वाइव कंप्लीटली इट ऑल्सो गिव्स अ वेरी डिटेल्ड अकाउंट अबाउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कैपिटल सिटी ऑफ पाटलिपुत्र एंड दी मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ दी सोशल लाइफ हैज ऑल्सो बीन एक्सप्लेन इन दिस बुक नाउ वन मोर thing which you guys must know is now during those times when those books will be written so generally kings or the priest will order those books to be written okay so generally it will not be written from a common man's perspective wo jo bhi kitabe us kaal mein likhi jati thi wo aam insaan ki boli nahi thi wo raja ya to bolta tha ki kitab likho ya to ek ek koi priest hoga jo wo ek kitab likhega raja ki tareef mein taki raja khush ho jaye aur kuch inam de so that is why you guys must treat these resources with with caution and must be very very careful because we do not know whether all these things what we are reading are 100% right or wrong but at the same time do not become binary 
डो नॉट बिकम जीरो और वन और ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए इट शुड नॉट हैपन दैट यू स्टॉप रीडिंग ऑल दीज हिस्ट्री सोर्सेज सेइंग दैट एवरीथिंग इज रॉन्ग एट द सेम टाइम एवरीथिंग इज नॉट राइट ऑल्सो ओके सो ऑब्वियसली इट इज इन आर सिलेबस वी आर स्टडिंग इट बट ऑलवेज कीप योर ब्रेन ओपन एंड ओपन टू डिफरेंट आइडियाज ऑल राइट लेट्स कंटिन्यू apart from those two indica resources and and uh, the book which was written by chanakya there are some other resources also like in the purans also it's mentioned in the buddhist literatures also like jat jatakas it's mentioned about the mauryas now divamsa and mahavamsa which were also written by buddhist in sri lanka when the buddhism was spreading in sri lanka here also the role of ashoka has been mentioned so that means there are various लिटरेचर रिसोर्सेज अवेलेबल टू अस हमारे पास कई ऐसी किताबों में ये अवेलेबल है ये मौजूद है कि मौर्य काल एग्जिस्ट करता था और उसका ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कैसा था आई होप दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू अपार्ट फ्रॉम दो बुक्स देर आर वेरियस आर्कियोलॉजिकल रिसोर्सेज ऑल्सो देरियस देर आर वेरियस एडिक्ट अब एडिक्ट क्या होते हैं एडिक्ट मीन्स वेन यू फाइंड अ सर्टेन ऑब्जेक्ट विच गिव यू सम आर्क्योलॉजिकल वैल्यू लाइक वेरियस पिलर एडिक्ट एंड रॉक एडिक्ट मतलब कई पिलर और रॉक्स के ऊपर भी अशोका ने अपनी बात कहने की कोशिश की थी नाउ दीज इंस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ अशोका नाउ वाई इंस्क्रिप्शन बिकॉज दे आर इनग्रेव्ड आईदर ऑन ऑन अ हार्ड सर्फेस सच एज अ रॉक और अ पिलर दे वेर फर्स्ट डेसिफर्ड बाई जेम्स प्रिंसेप इन एटीन थर्टी सेवन नाउ मोस्टली द स्क्रिप्ट विच वॉज यूज हियर वॉज ब्रह्मी ब्रह्मी स्क्रिप्ट ज्यादातर यहां पर इस्तेमाल की गई थी नॉर्थ नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न इंडिया में खरोश्ती स्क्रिप्ट का इस्तेमाल किया गया था नॉ रिमेंबर गंधारा वॉज वन ऑफ द महाजनपद इन दॉर्थ वेस्टर्न रीजन देयर खरोश्ती वॉज यूज सर कैन यू प्लीज लेट एस नो वॉट इज दिस ब्रह्मी खरोश्ती बिकॉज इट इज नाउ वन बाई वन द स्क्रिप्ट आर कमिंग अप एंड इट इज बिकमिंग स्लाइटली डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड सर एक एक करके ब्रह्मी स्क्रिप्ट खरोश्ती स्क्रिप्ट आ रही है क्या आप थोड़ा सा समझा सकते हैं इन स्क्रिप्ट के बारे में ऑल राइट लेट मी एक्सप्लेन दिस टू यू नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बिफोर वी मूव इन टू दो स्क्रिप्ट सबसे पहले हम जो इस एडिक्ट की बात करें इसकी एक जल्दी से एक हम समरी देख लेते हैं नाउ देर आर टोटल सेवन पिलर एडिक्ट यू डोंट हैव टू रिमेंबर ऑल ऑफ दम बट वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज ऑल दी पिलर्स आर मोनोलिथ दैट मीन्स मेड फ्रॉम अ सिंगल स्टोन मतलब अगर एक बड़ा सा पत्थर रखा हुआ है इफ देर अ सिंगल स्टोन ओवर देयर फ्रॉम अ सिंगल स्टोन इफ यू कट एंड मेक द एंटायर पिलर इट इज नॉन एज अ मोनोलिथ मोन्यूमेंट ओके नाउ इन द एंशियंट इंडिया देर वेर मेनी मेनी टेम्पल्स ऑल्सो विच वेर मोनोलिथ मतलब एक ही पहाड़ को ही कट कर करके उन्होंने गुफाएं और मंदिर भी बनाए थे दो दैट इज नॉन एज मोनोलिथ नाउ दिस इज द डायमेंशन नॉट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नाउ पिलर एडिक्ट नंबर सेवेंथ दैट मीन्स आउट ऑफ सेवेंथ जो सातवें नंबर का था दिस गिव्स अ समरी ऑफ अशोकाज एफर्ट द एफर्ट्स व्हाट ही वाज डूइंग टू प्रोमोट धम्मा अब ओके लेट मी गिव यू गाइस अ क्विक रीकैप हियर ओके द फर्स्ट किंग व्हिच वी विल स्टडी वाज चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य देन वी विल स्टडी अबाउट बिंदुसारा All right. Not Bimbi Sara. Bimbi Sara was there in Harangya dynasty. Don't get confused. Bindu Sara. Then we will study about Ashoka. All right. So these three kings we are going to study in this chapter. And I am talking about the these edicts. Ye Ashoka ke baare mein baat karo. I am talking about this guy which we will study in some time. Dhamma means he actually. इन्होंने बुद्धिज्म अपना लिया था ही अडॉप्टेड बुद्धिज्म लेटर इन हिज लाइफ सो थ्रू हिज धम्मा हिज टीचिंग ही इज ट्राइंग टू टेल टू एवरीबडी दैट दिस इज राइट एंड दिस इज रॉन्ग आई होप दिस इज क्लियर ऑल राइट नाउ इन दीज पिलर्स यू विल फाइंड वेरियस एनिमल्स ऑल्सो एलिफेंट्स लाइन्स व्हील्स एंड लोटस विच वेर सिग्निफिकेंट सिंबल्स ऑफ बुद्धिज्म यू विल फाइंड फोर्टीन मेजर रॉक एडिक्ट ऑल राइट आउट ऑफ दैम The thirteenth rock edict will tell the detail about his war with Kalinga. When we will study about Ashoka, I will tell you that he fought a war with in in Kalinga. All right, and that time he realized that he had done wrong because lakhs of people have died. Lakhon logon ki maut ho jati hai. So, in this rock edict, me, ham unhone apne yudh ka zikr bhi kiya hai. All right, there were fifteen minor rock edicts. All right, which were in the country as well as in Afghanistan also. 
एंड अशोका हैज यूज हिज नेम इन ओनली फोर प्लेसेस ओके मस्की ब्रह्मागिरी विच इज इन कर्नाटका गुजारा विच इज इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड नेतूर विच इज इन आंध्र प्रदेश ऑल राइट सो आउट ऑफ दोज फिफ्टीन माइनर रॉक एडिक्ट अशोका हैज नेम हिज यूज ओनली इन फोर ऑफ दीज आई होप दिस समरी अबाउट दिस एडिक्ट इज क्लियर Now let us come back to the question which I have asked you. कि सर ये ब्रह्मी स्क्रिप्ट खरोष्टी स्क्रिप्ट इंडस स्क्रिप्ट यहां पर भी हम लोगों ने पढ़ी थी बॉस्फिर स्टाइल ऑफ राइटिंग इन तीनों में डिफरेंस क्या होता है लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड इंडस स्क्रिप्ट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन विच वॉट वी विल डू इज वी विल स्टार्ट राइटिंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड देन राइट टू लेफ्ट लेफ्ट टू राइट राइट टू लेफ्ट इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दिस चैप्टर अबाउट दी हड़प्पन सिविलाइजेशन प्लीज वॉच यू विल अंडरस्टैंड दिस नाउ ब्रह्मी स्क्रिप्ट इज द मोस्ट पॉपुलर स्क्रिप्ट ऑफ आर इंडियन कल्चर नाउ द हिंदी लैंग्वेज वॉट वी स्टडी राइट नाउ बेंगोली तमिल मलयालम ऑल ऑफ देम हैव बीन डेसिफर्ड और यू कैन से ब्रह्मी स्क्रिप्ट से ही ये सब सब ब्रांचेस बनी है ऑल राइट वन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग बिटवीन नॉर्थ इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस एंड साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस इज दैट इन नॉर्थ इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस इट इज एंगुलर इन शेप वेयर एज इन साउथ इंडिया इट इज सर्कुलर इन शेप ओके खरोस्टी स्क्रिप्ट इट इज यूज मेनली इन दी नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न फ्रंटियर इन दी गांधारा स्क्रिप्ट ऑल राइट इन इन दैट गांधारा रीजन ऑल राइट सो इंपॉर्टेंट वन इज ब्रह्मी स्टिल नाउ इफ यू आर थिंकिंग अगर आप सोच रहे हैं कि नॉर्थ इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस में एंगुलर होती है साउथ इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस सर्कुलर होती है यू आर नॉट एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड नाउ यू गाइज विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड यू सी दिस दिस इज तमिल लैंग्वेज मलयालम कन्नडा एंड तेलुगू ऑल ऑफ देम आर सर्कुलर इन शेप दी स्क्रिप्ट नाउ दिस इज एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ गुजराती ऑल राइट दिस इज एंगुलर इन शेप सी दिस इज नॉट सर्कुलर दिस हैज एंगल्स ऑल राइट सो दिस इज हाउ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन दी स्क्रिप्ट ऑल राइट आई होप दिस पॉइंट इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू अब हम समझते हैं पॉलिटिकल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पॉलिटिकल इतिहास ऑफ द मौर्य एम्पायर सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टॉक अबाउट दी चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य ऑल राइट ही वॉज चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य ही विद हेल्प ऑफ चाणक्य ही ओवर थ्रू दी नंदास एंड हियर कम्स दी बिगिनिंग ऑफ द मौर्य एम्पायर ऑल राइट सो ही वॉज द फाउंडर ऑफ द मॉरियन एम्पायर एट द यंग एज ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव ही कैप्चर्ड पातलीपुत्र फ्रॉम द लास्ट नंदा रूलर धनानंदा अब सम ऑफ द स्टूडेंट वे आर आस्किंग मी दिस डाउट कुछ स्टूडेंट से पूछ रहे थे इन समय बुक इट इज रिटर्न दैट दी धनानंदा वॉज नॉट द लास्ट रूलर दिस एंड दैट सी कम ऑन ओके डोंट आस्ट दिस काइंड ऑफ फैक्ट बेस्ड क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट अंडरस्टैंड इट इन इट इन सच अ वे That the Nanda dynasty was overthrown by the Mauryans. Okay, this much is more than sufficient for you to understand. Kautilya assisted him. Who is Kautilya? Chanakya. He was also known as I told Chanakya, or Vishnu Gupta was also his name. Now, after coming into power, power me aane ke baad Chandra Gupta Maurya ne sabse pehle he made sure that he is powerful in the Gangetic Valley, and then he moved to northwest. Wo northwest me jaate hain. and then he captured up to the indus river and then he moved up to central india and then he captured the region up to the narmada river i hope this point is clear to all of you now in the year 305 bc he marched against secular nicator he was alexander's general who was controlling the northwestern india theek hai chandragupta maurya secular nicator निकेटर को हरा देते हैं ही डिफीटेड हिम एंड देन अ ट्रीटी वॉज साइंड इस ट्रीटी में क्या होता है कि सेक्युलर निकेटर जो है अपने एरिया को अपने रीजन को दे देते हैं चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य को एंड ही आल्सो गिव्स हिज डॉटर टू चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य अब चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य बिकम्स वेरी हैप्पी एंड ही गिव गिव्स Gives secular nicator a gift of 500 elephants. All right, there were four territories that time in that Trans-Indus region area, Arakosia, Gedrosia. All right, these three were uh, sorry the uh, the territories in that time which became a part of the Mauryan Empire. All right, now what happens is, अगर आपको याद होगा if you guys remember in Jainism I told you there were two sects of Jainism which which became Shwetambars and Digambars. All right, so if you guys remember that Bhadrabahu, all right, he moved to South India, 
विद चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य एंड दैट टाइम आई टोल्ड यू उस समय मैंने बोला था दैट प्लीज वेट आई विल टेल यू अबाउट चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य लेटर चंद्रगुप्त मौर्य ने लेटर ऑन इन हिज लाइफ जैनिज्म को अपना लिया था एंड देन ही स्टेप डाउन फ्रॉम द थ्रोन एंड ही गेव द थ्रोन थ्रू हिज टू हिज सन बिंदु सारा I hope this point is clear. And then he went to Mysore with the other Jain monks, which was led by Bhadra Bahu. And there he dies. He starves him himself to die. वो अपने आप को भूखा रखकर अपने आप को मार देते हैं. Because in Jainism, starvation is also a way towards Nirvana. I hope this point is clear to all of you. So after Chandragupta Maurya, his son comes, who is Bindu Sara. Next, next comes Bindu Sara, as you can see here. Now he was a very dangerous king. All right. Now Bindu Sara was called as Amitra Ghat by Greeks, which means slayers of the enemy. He was very, very cruel. Cruel. He used to kill his enemies like anything. He was very, very. Strong and brave. Now it is said that he had conquered the territories up to Mysore. All right. Now the Tibetan monks, in their in their writings, Tarantha, they have also mentioned that Bindu Sara have conquered sixteen states. All right. Even in the Sangam, which is a Tamil literature, it is also it it is also mentioned that the Mauryans have come up to far south. All right. So it can be said that the Mauryan Empire. बिंदु सारा के अंडर में दी मॉरियन एम्पायर अंडर बिंदु सारा वॉज एक्सटेंडेड अप टू माइसूर ऑल राइट नाउ वॉट हैपन्स वॉज नाउ फ्रॉम दी सीरिया डेमिचेस कम्स एज अ एम्बेसडर ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम वॉट यूज टू हैपन वॉज वेरियस राजदूत और एम्बेसडर दे यूज टू कम टू इंडिया ऑल राइट सो बिंदु सारा रोड टू द किंग ऑफ सीरिया एंड टोचियस वन ही आज फॉर थ्री थ्री थिंग्स बिंदु सारा ने तीन चीजों की डिमांड की थी स्वीट वाइन ड्राइड फिक्स दिस इज अ फ्रूट एंड अ सोफिस्ट सोफिस्ट इज अ फिलोसफर और अ टीचर ऑल राइट नाउ द फर्स्ट टू वेयर सेंट बट अकॉर्डिंग टू द अकॉर्डिंग टू दी those times according to those laws according to syrian greek laws all those laws sending of sophist was prohibited all right i hope you guys are able to understand this okay now bindu sara he supported ajivikas all right this was a religion section all right now what happens was his son was a governor of ujjain but after bindu sara's death ashoka becomes the king how he becomes the king let us see now all right now we will start and try to understand about the ashoka all right very let, little information is available about his early life all right earlier he was a governor of ujjain it is said aisa kaha jata hai that he had killed all his brothers his 99 brothers and then he had become the king he it is mentioned in dipvamsa and mahavamsa which are buddhist texts but according to tarantha which is a tibetan text text it is written that he had killed only six of his brothers all right but that is not very important but what is very important to understand here is ki it was not very easy for ashoka to become a king and he had to fight with his brothers to become a king so this much is clear from this all right so let's continue all right the very important thing of ashoka's rule was his war in kalinga All right, he fought a war in Kalinga. He wins that war in 261 BC, but then he realizes, and he has himself mentioned in Rock Edict number number 14th that many that many people were killed. 150,000 people were killed. इतने सारे लोगों की मौत हो जाती है. और इस युद्ध के बाद Kalinga उनके साम्राज्य का हिस्सा तो बन जाता है. मगर उनको इस बात का दुख होता है कि उन्होंने गलत किया इसका इफेक्ट यह होता है दैट आफ्टर दिस वॉर अशोका इम्ब्रेस बुद्धिज्म वो बौद्ध धर्म को एक्सेप्ट कर लेते हैं अंडर अ बुद्धिस्ट मॉन्क उपागुप्ता आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल राइट नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू सम स्कॉलर्स अगेन दिस इज अ डिबेटेबल थिंग दैट ही इमीडिएटली डिड नॉट कन्वर्ट टू बुद्धिज्म बट ग्रेजुअली इट हैपन लेट से फर्स्ट ही बिकेम अ ले डिसाइपल मतलब फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वो सिर्फ उन्होंने बोला कि हाँ मैं बौद्ध धर्म को एक्सेप्ट करता हूं आई एक्नोलेज इट After two and a half years, he became a monk. Okay, this is a debatable thing. Okay, according to various scholars, this is different. He gave up hunting also during that time. 
kings used to go for hunting he visited both gaya he also visited many other places such as lumbuni garden kapila vastu all right now he also appointed various officers which were known as dharma mahamatras now the work of these officers in officers ka kaam tha ki ashoka ka jo bhi gyan hai jo jo dhamma ke madhyam se wo logon tak pahunchaye through dhamma through his teachings through ashoka's teachings which were inspired by buddhism he wanted to tell to everybody that war is not the solution we can win people through love also all right now he sends his son mahendra and daughter daughter sangamitra to sri lanka where they have planted a branch of the original bodhi tree also, also all right wahan par wo sri lanka mein apne bete mahendra aur beti sangamitra ko bhejte hain jahan par wo original jo bodhi tree tha uski ek branch ka bhi ped lagwate hain under ashoka only as we saw that they were buddhist council uh, councils happening jo teesri buddhist council thi the third third buddhist council happened at patliputra in 240 bc all right i hope this point point is clear it was presided over by mogaliputta tissa all right now kitna bada samrajya tha ashoka ka what was the range of this ashoka empire now it is different scholars again have different views now it is written that the chola pandyas the south southern states were the border states all right so that means we can consider that up to mysore he reached all right so these states were outside the mauryan empire now according to rajataranagiri kashmir was a part of mauryan empire nepal was also a part of the mauryan empire and north western frontier was already demarcated it was already captured by chandragupta maurya so that means we can say that almost the entire of the india was a part of the ashokan empire so that was a very great achievement in that ancient indian time i hope this point is clear to all of you all right now what happens is now this dhamma through which ashoka is trying to teach people okay dhamma is his philosophy which he, through which he is trying to teach people he, that was a way of life a code of conduct conduct a set of principles jo wo chahte the that he wanted that people should follow all right that are clearly stated in his edicts pillar edicts rock edicts now one very important thing is don't try to equate dhamma with that of buddhist teaching wo buddhist ki teaching nahi thi he learned he uh, from buddhist monks he accepted buddhism but he had his own principles of dhamma all right so buddhism was his personal belief but dhamma was something which he wanted everybody to understand all right he and he wished that dhamma should be spread through all the social levels i hope this point is clear to all of you all right now what were the main features of ashoka's dhamma wo actually kehna kya chahte the in dhamma mein so let me just read it to you it is very very simple you guys will be able to understand that you all should serve your father and mother we all should practice ahimsa we should love truth we should never lie there should be a reverence feeling for teachers that means we should always whenever we learn something for teachers we should all, always try to give service to them and we should give good treatment to the relatives we should avoid animal sacrifices festive, festival gatherings and meaningless ceremonies and rituals that means he was again such kind of uh, brahmin uh, brahmin brahmanical activities which were happening but that does not means that he was against it he was giving liberty to brahmins wo kehte the ki brahmins ko jo karna hai unko karne de unka wo samman karte the but he was against such things and he used to tell to people ki in some meaningless cheezon mein aap na padhe be very rational and logical logical all right now he also had a effective organization through which he was trying to spread the dhamma through dham yatras he used to have various such things through which he was trying to explain to the people that please follow these principles he also used to tell ki aap apne servants please treat your servants with generosity all right now even the prisoners which were kept they also have to be kept nicely okay they should not be kept cru with cruelty 
all right he already told to be uh, to keep non violence with animals and with other relations now one more thing is he told to keep tolerance for all religion sects which right now see again this question can come in upsc mains because we see that recently you might have heard that in in gujarat in maharashtra all right uh, this mob lynching happened to a few hindus also somewhere mob lynching have happened to muslims also so the question can come that relate the ashoka's dhamma in which he has told about tolerance to religion sect with that of the present era where we see mob lynching as a day to day activity i hope this point is clear aapko ye samajhna padega aajkal mob lynching ek aam baat ho gayi hai people are becoming intolerant so can you relate this with the teachings of the ashoka dhamma all right this this way you have to relate things all right and he also used to say ki yuddh ki jagah through the dhamma we can win the people all right and ashoka who is considered as the greatest of the great kings surpassing alexander the great julius caesar and other other emperors also according to hg wells hg wells ke anusar इनका नाम सदियों सदियों तक एक सितारे की तरह चमकता रहेगा अशोका का नाम ही वॉज सच अ ग्रेट एम्पेर ऑल राइट ना वन मोर थिंग इज ऑल राइट इट इज नॉट दैट अकॉर्डिंग सी अंडरस्टैंड दिस वन थिंग दो ही वॉज अ वेरी वेरी ग्रेट किंग बट ही वॉज अ वेरी प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन ऑल राइट प्रैक्टिकल पर्सन मीन्स ऐसा तो नहीं हुआ दैट आफ्टर विलिंग विनिंग कलिंगा ही हैज टोल्ड दैट ओके आई एम लिविंग दैट कलिंगा बैक टू दैट ओल्ड old people that okay you guys stay as per your own wish no he kept it in his own kingdom so that means he used to organize his his uh, his uh, political organization unhone apne pure desh ko ek karke to rakha tha he has not told them okay you can go away though he was generous but he was very intelligent also understand this though he was following the non aggression policy but he was not a dreamer all right he was a practical genius person you guys must understand this all right now what happens is after his death two parts were divided of his em entire empire pure samrajya ke do hisse ho jate hain eastern or western all right western was ruled by his son kunal and eastern by his grandson dashratha all right then what happens foreign invasions also starts bacterian invasion so the western part collapses and then the successive rulers were not so effective and then what happens was the last mauryan king brihadrath he was assassinated by pushyamitra sung pushyamitra sung jo the wo akhri mauryan king brihadrath ki mrityu kar dete hain inko maar dete hain and from here will start shung dynasty i hope this is clear to all of you now let us quickly understand the mauryan administration also all right now kautilya had very clearly mentioned about the administration in his book also all right now there were a council of ministers under the king okay now they were known as mantri parishad okay ye council of ministers mein mantri parishad hote the they were purohit mahamantri senapatis yuvraj all right right now you guys want to become an ias officer all right now they that time also they were civil servants for taking care of district they were known as amatyas all right okay now how they were selected that is also given elaborately by kautilya in his arthashastra book all right now ashoka had appointed very dhamma mahamantras who were responsible for spreading dhammas throughout the country all right so the entire nation had a very well organized uh, political setup let's look at it one by one ek ek karke hum is pe dekhte hain all right let us first look at the revenue department all right let us first understand the revenue department samharta he was the chief of the revenue department and revenue used to come from various things revenue kai jagah se aata tha zameen se aata tha aap aapko irrigation karoge custom se aayega aap kuch videsh se kuch saman aayega aap kuch saman bechoge forest se aap charwahe ho everything for 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 everything there was a for uh, was a tax that was connected connect, uh, collected now the land revenue was fixed at 1/6 of the produce agar aapki amdani 100 rupaye hoti hai to iska 1/6 aapko dena padega ya isko agar main 60 rupees bolu to aapko usme se 10 rupaye dene padenge this makes more sense to you now i hope this is clear to all of you all right 
now one very important thing is in the administration defense was also very well organized and and important the chief of the entire this defense administration was senapati all right now to the all the soldiers the salaries were given in cash all right there were many military officers of different ranks which is also clearly mentioned now there were different uh, kinds of uh, sub sections within the defense like infantry cavalry elephants and chariots now for those of you who want to link it with the present time jo aaj ke samay se isko link karna chahte hain infantry is right now who is fighting with guns all right the foot soldiers that time also foot soldiers were there that time guns were not there so that time they used to fight with swords talwar se ladte the all right the cavalry elephant this has now replaced to armored okay now we have armored regiments in which we have tanks through which we fight earlier we used to have cavalry and elephants i hope this point is clear all right now each of these four wings which i have told you all right apart from for from these wings we had navy also transport supply also okay and for supplying other food to the soldiers also very important thing was ye jo maine aapko alag alag jo maine aapko departments bataye for each department there was a superintendent who was also known as adhyaksha adhyaksh means president who was also superintendent all right in magasthenes book also indica who was uh, who, who was a greek ambassador staying in india he has mentioned that there were total six boards che boards the each board was having five members who was controlling the six wings that means apart from these superintendents there were six boards of six boards of five five members each who were administering these units also i hope this point is clear there was a department of commerce and industry also whose officers were known as adhyakshas they were taking care of weights and other business related activities they were taking care all right now even judiciary and police was very important all right there were both kind of courts civil courts as well as criminal courts now for those of you who do not know the different between difference between these courts criminal court matlab aapne koi galti kar di jaise chori aapne kisi ka murder kar diya in civil court matlab aapne kisi ki zameen le li hai ab aap wo wapis nahi kar rahe ho ya aapne koi kisi ki dukan se udhar le li aur wapis nahi kiya in which it is related to the breaking of law and order not directly related to an individual where you do a very big crime all right agar main criminal court or civil court ki baat karu to ye law todne par milta hai criminal court bhi law todne pe milta hai magar is samay aap koi aisa bada crime kar rahe hain jisse kisi insaan ko direct impact hota hai baat samajh mein aa rahi hai all right there were subordinate courts also at the provincial levels and anyways i have already told you at the district level that amatyas were taking care who were the ias officers with the present time you can relate this who were taking care of the administration ab us samay alag alag prakar ke punishments bhi the various kinds of punishments were also happening various fines jail were also there death sentences were also given and various kinds of torture were also there but remember during ashoka time this was significantly reduced because he embraced buddhism and ashoka wanted that punishments should be reduced that is why that is why in the ashoka's inscription you will find that remission of sentences is also mentioned remission matlab maaf kar dena ya kam kar dena saza ko kam kar dena all right i hope this point is clear now let us understand about this also that in the modern administration census was also taking place look at the beauty of the administration matlab us samay par bhi samay samay par logon ki unke unke janwaron ki unki dukanon mein rakhe hue saman ki ginti ki jati thi the people were counted the animals were counted the items kept in the shops were counted so that the king should have an estimate what is going on in his administration at the grassroots level i hope this point is clear to all of you all right even at the provincial and local administration that is also mentioned in the mauryan administration now if i talk about the entire mauryan empire agar main pure mauryan empire ki baat karu to uske four provinces thi takshila ujjain suvarnagiri and kalinga 
ऑल राइट नॉ जनरली इनके लिए गवर्नर्स होते थे एंड दीज गवर्नर्स यूज टू कम फ्रॉम रॉयल फैमिलीज दे वर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कलेक्टिंग लॉ एंड ऑर्डर एंड मेंटेनिंग maintaining peace in their territories district administration ki baat kare now it was given to amatyas who were kind of ias officers who were also like rajukas all right all right this has already been told under them also there were various subordinate officers known as yuktas all right now if i talk about rural administration gaon ki baat karu so the head of the village was gramani and various villages were under the head of gopa who was responsible for the administration of various villages i hope this point is clear to all of you all right now kautilya in his book and megasthenes in his book indica both have mentioned about municipal administration arth shastra which is kautilya's book has a full chapter on the nagar or city management all right now this city superintendent or nagarika his main role was to maintain law and order all right you can relate it this to the present ips officer who is responsible for maintaining law and order of a district all right now there were again various committees to look, look after the administration at the local level let's say this is an example of patliputra of the capital city that there were committees to look after industries foreign trades जो लोग मरते थे जिनकी डेथ होती थी दैट इज दैट अबाउट सेंसस द रजिस्ट्रेशन वॉज ऑफ बर्थ सर्टिफिकेट डेथ वॉज हैपनिंग ओवर देयर ट्रेड कमिटी वॉज ऑल्सो देयर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एंड सेल ऑफ गुड्स कलेक्शन ऑफ सेल टैक्सेस लुक एट द माइन्यूट ब्यूटी ऑफ द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन हियर कितनी डेप्थ में एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन मौजूद था मॉरन काल के समय में यू गाइज शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस that even at that ancient time it was happening at such a beautiful and such a such a in detail level all right now if i talk about the modern art and architecture all right so you can see how beautifully the pillars were made in in those period all right so this is an example of a pillar okay you can see an animal this is the abacus and this is a lo lotus all right flower which is in inverted shape and then this is the pillar now later on what will happen is this emblem what you saw the pillar what you saw it will become the official capital of the indian government also aaj ye jo hum jo ye sher ka sign dekhte hain indian government has adopted this at as a emblem also you guys have seen that moreover you guys will find various animal figures also on top of these figures like lion lion elephant bulls all right if i talk about these ashokan pillars with inscriptions they are found in various places such as delhi allahabad rumindai sanchi sarnath all right these are the examples of the pillars ye jo char sheron ka maine example diya aapko with the example what i have given you about the four lions this is an example of sarnath pillar all right which is the one of the most magnificent pillar what you see all right apart from the pillars this stupa is also magnificent example of the architecture of the mauryan period all right this is this stupa is from sanchi all right sanchi is in madhya pradesh all right now if you look here the stupa was made during the ashokan time but this this relics this extra part what you see this was made later on during the later period all right so it was basically been built with bricks but it was enlarged after the time of ashoka baad mein isko badhaya gaya tha all right sanchi stupas are the best example of such beautiful architecture all right apart from that there are caves also now look at the caves how beautifully inside it has been made okay inside now why these caves was made these caves were made so that monks can stay when they are traveling from one place to the other inside they were polished also all right now these were presented to the ajivikas okay by ashoka and his son which is a very very important heritage of mauryas okay the cave which you saw just now is okay it is present near bodhgaya which is a very beautiful example of mauryan architecture this was generally used by the monks to reside over there all right and the interior walls were polished like mirror okay i hope this point is clear to all of you all right but then what happened 
दैट दी मॉरिन्स स्टार्टेड डिक्लाइनिंग ऐसा क्या हुआ कि ये मॉरिन्स डिक्लाइन होने शुरू हो गए नाउ दिस अगेन इज अ डिबेटेबल टॉपिक ओके सम से दैट दी सक्सेसर्स जो अशोका के बाद के जो राजा थे दे वेर वीक सम से दैट दी अशोका हैड अ वेरी बिग पॉलिटिकल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सेटअप पूरा का पूरा देश अशोक के अंडर में था एंड दैट इज वाई इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू मैनेज एंड दैट इज वाई इट स्टार्टेड ब्रेकिंग अप इन टू डिफरेंट डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑल राइट सम पीपल से दैट he was acting against brahmins and he was saying that we should not believe in rituals but ashoka never acted against brahmins you must remember this okay he 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 was always talking about tolerance he used to say that don't believe in such superstitions but he used to still respect the brahmins and other religions he never said that my religion is the best religion he said that sabko apne apne religion ko apne apne tarike se manane ki chhoot hai magar agar aap meri baat sunna chahte ho to aap ye baat samajh lo ki aapko superstition se uthke you have to be logical i hope this point is clear it is also said that he used to believe in non violence after embracing buddhism so his army was also very angry okay there are various reasons given all right there are multiple causes and multiple reasons given all right so but there are i i would say that the combination of these factors that the later kings were not very uh, very uh, brave enough or were lacking in leadership qualities और जो बाद के जो राजा आए थे दे वर नॉट एबल टू इंटैक्ट दी एंटायर कंट्री टूगेदर बिकॉज इट वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर देम टू ऑर्गेनाइज द कंप्लीट कंट्री एट द सेम टाइम वॉट हैपन्स इज फॉरन इन्वेजन ऑल्सो टेक्स प्लेस ऑल राइट एट द सेम टाइम सी वॉट हैपन्स इज शुंग डायनेस्टी विल ऑल्सो स्टार्ट वाई बिकॉज पुष्या मित्र शुंग शुंग at the same time what will happen is pushyamitra shung he will overthrow the mauryan empire so all this have caused the decline of the mauryas okay so i hope this was helpful to all of you we don't have telegram channel now you can be connected to us on instagram and facebook and this is an absolutely free platform guys and ye upsc digital library is a vision of mine in which i want to help maximum aspirants who cannot afford high coaching fees so if you know any of your friends who want to prepare please you can bring them to our platform thank you everybody for watching god bless you